Well, Heidi, you're convener of the Network for Educational Improvement and Quality Assurance. Can you tell me what's the main idea that brings people to your network? Actually, this uh, network was developed in order to integrate two points of view. The educational point of view, people who practice in education and teaching and learning, and those who they are more uh, policy makers, but they're educational people, who wants to make sure we are on the right process. This is the quality assurance. So our network is kind of integration and people, educators, want to keep learning and quality at the same time in our era. This is the place for them. So then, what's the kind of topics which come up in your conference sessions? Different types of quality assurance assessments, uh, procedures, how to fit the assessments and the learning assessment to quality and to what the children really needs. Because we don't want to keep the quality assurance processes high at the level, but students' needs is different, children need something else. So we want people are coming to present how they actually integrate between children needs, curricular demands and policy makers' wishes. And then how, how does that all that contribute to European educational research as a whole? As a whole, it's, it, gives another, it's, it gives a practical point of view of how education in schools or high schools should be. It gives a practical how can we uh, adapt what people, policymakers want us to do to what children need. And actually in each presentation, in each study, we communicate, okay, this is the theory, how do we practice, or this is what you practice in class, how do you fit with what the demands are. And because it's international point of view, people from different countries are coming, we have a lot of discussions, thanks to the ESERF conferences during the year, but discussions, how to manage all the things together. And then, what, what does your network value in terms of, of educational research and its benefits to society? Well, the fact that we come from different countries. It's a European conference, but in the network we come from 12 different countries. We are say, from different continents as well. So the benefit is that nowadays when you call European students, they're not all European, they're from many countries. In our network, we already have this process of how do we teach in inclusive classes, different people from different countries, different languages, different cultures, how do we proceed to keep educating them all according to the same curricula, keeping the quality assurance of the education, but taking under consideration they are different. And I'm sure, as you know, uh, ERA has a mission statement yes. of its intent. How, how do you contribute to that? How do you relate to that? Uh, the main mission that there is a long uh, process of the mission, but the main one that we adopted to our network is how to uh, promote education and update education to all. And what we do in our network, we make sure that we communicate throughout the year, not only during ESA meetings. We have our uh, emails to communicate. We already published one uh, special issue in Quality Assurance in Education Journal. Uh, now we're on the way of publishing a book, a common book that presents 10 different points of view of new pedagogy to different children, keeping the quality of education. But remember that we have to educate all. Not just the quality, but we have to educate everyone. And this is from the mission of uh, So, as you know, ERA's got a lot of networks, I think yes. it's 32, 33, something like that. What's unique about yours? I think the unique is that we are really trying to integrate many things under one umbrella um, and making sure that we integrate theory and practice all the time together. We don't, it's very easy to talk about quality assurance processes from theory point of view. But we don't want to stay in theory. We keep 
demanding for their integration of practice. What are we going to do with the results of the studies in education? In education, it's in school, in kindergarten, in high school, but it's something that we practice. Uh, the presentations during ISRA all should be refer to theory and link to practice. If you don't link to practice, it's a waste of time. Yeah. For us. <laughs> so, is this something, this is a personal question for you, I suppose. Is this something in your network, think back over the last two years or three years, you're particularly proud of that you've done? There are two things that I mentioned before. I think the first thing that I'm proud of that we managed to have the special issue in a very uh, good journal in, under the Emerald Publishers. And they accepted us as network of Easter. It's not just um, researchers. And as a network, they allowed us to publish an academic, very high academically journal of us. And the second thing is the book that we are in the process of. That it wasn't obvious that authors and research from different, 10 different countries will come and present one thing is how do we deal with pedagogy, new pedagogy, and keeping the quality of education. So it's something that I'm proud of that uh, the rest of the authors in the network agreed to work with me. Brilliant. And is your network connected to other groups or associations? With associations, not. But when it's possible, during the meeting in Israel, we try to have uh, two or three networks together. When we see that then a certain abstract relates to us, was submitted to Network 11, but actually refers to other network, we try to have a joint session with them. And this way, we actually enlarge our uh, points of view of seeing other researchers that come to other networks as well. Now, coming up to conference time, people have to put in submissions if they want to come. Yes. yes. What are you looking for in a submission? Something new, but very academically. Not just I have a vision, but something that came from the field, a question that want to be studied, and what's new in new question. If you come with something that is, the question is obvious, uh, like uh, things that we already have a lot of studies that prove what your question, we don't look for it. We look for the new. Your new creative point of view of education and quality assurance. And we don't see quality as a negative word. We need to keep the quality. But we need new education as well. And now at the conference, what do you like about the ECR conference? I like all the so many researchers, new researchers and elder researchers are coming up together, speak together uh, from different point of view about so many topics that relate to education and they don't they get out of this local perspective of their school, university or country and we meet so many different countries together. Countries that in other occasions are not allowed to speak one with another and here no politics. It's all education and for the future generation. And then what does the conference mean for your network then? It's another, every year they say this is another motivation for the next year to study, to, to keep studying, to keep presenting. They are motivated to come and we have our uh, year network meeting every year and they say it motivates them to keep asking, researching and publishing. It's something that they want to keep doing all the time. So Heidi, this is your last question. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? <laughs> Uh, I, will, I would like to approach all the educators, but psychologists as well, and policy makers. Keep challenging us with dynamic changing environment for education, but allow us to develop proper quality assurance processes so we will be able to continue working. Well, Heidi, thank you very much for making some time to come and talk to us today. Thank you very much to you, too.